So, Louise and I bought a van. Took us just under a year to find a perfect one, but here she is, an old DHL VW Crafter in glorious yellow. I reckon we got a little bit cheaper, because most people don't want a bright yellow van. Eh. Job number one was strip the van. And listen, if anyone is watching this video to learn how to do camper van conversions, I'd look for something else because we have no idea what we're doing. This video should be more inspiration than education because if we can do it, anyone can. <sighs> it felt good to get the first bit of the sliding door out. Yeah. So, the camera actually ran out of battery because it took us so long to get the rest of the sliding door out of the van. But trust me, it was a mission. <sighs> After working so hard, Louise and I decided it was time that we got paid. So, we took the shelves and the sliding door down to a scrap metal place and we made... £9.50! Cutching! <laughs> you know what? That's not even two pints unless you're drinking car in like some sort of cave van. Anyway, once the van was clear, it was time to remove the floor so we can get some insulation down and keep our camper van warm. Now, loads of videos on YouTube say that these floors are just velcro down, but this one wasn't. It was glued down as well as screwed in in loads of different places. So once I got all the screws out, I had to hammer battens underneath it to prise the floor up slowly. And I know these super video tricks make it look fast, but this took me well over two hours. It's alright for Louise, in it? We had a day off working at the auction house. After stripping the van, we found a lot of rust and holes in the floor, so I sanded down all of the rusted bits and then covered any bare metal with red oxide paint to prevent more rust. Now, because of all the rivets that are drilled out and lots of other stuff in the van, there was a lot of holes in the floor and we needed to fill them before we insulate to prevent any moisture getting in and starting more rust. Now, there's a few options to do this, like fiberglass or welding, but I decided to use this stuff. Well, you can get high up these fumes, man. Woo! This stuff can eat. Big boy, ultra tough. I also had to mask and tape underneath the van to make sure that the metal filler could fix before it all slips through. And there she is, stage one complete. Everything stripped out, rust removed, holes filled, and our living area is all taped out. Get in. Now these are just some of the tools that were really useful in getting that done. So we've got a normal drill there to get all your screws and stuff out, and all the little bits that come with it, because you've got lots of different fittings in there. You need a hammer drill so you can smash through those rivets because that was hard work. You need a crowbar, a heavy hammer. Also, it's not in these pictures, but we had a steak knife which was really useful just for getting through all the sealant that kept that sliding door in, which is one of the hardest bits to remove. And also, get yourself a little dog because he keeps me happy when things have been going tough. <laughs> 